two, set, go. What's up guys, welcome to another lesson here at Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil and today I'll be teaching you the intro to God Only Knows by the Beach Boys. This specific arrangement comes from the intermediate level in our song store in the interactive app. Let's get into it. I'll start by breaking down the right hand first. First off, our key signature tells us that we have three sharps. All Fs, Cs, and Gs are automatically going to be F sharps, C sharps, and G sharps, okay? This is the key of A major. Our time signature says 4-4, four, four, also known as common time. That's four beats per measure, and the quarter note gets the beat. Now, notice the note we have there above the key signature and time signature. It says eighth notes swing. So we're going to be feeling these eighth notes with a swing feel. What that means, briefly, is that instead of playing even eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, we're going to take the ands and offset them to the right. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. The one, two, three, and four remain in the same place on the beat, but the ands in between them now shift to the right. If you'd like to learn more about swing feel, make sure you check out our boot camp lessons in the interactive app. You'll learn a lot more there, including from instructor Harry Connick Jr. Let's get into these notes now. Our very first note we see on screen looks like a C, but don't forget our key signature tells us it's a C sharp. This one right here. Our third finger, then on D sharp, and then thumb coming under to E. Next measure. Now our fifth finger is on B, and our fourth finger is on A. And that's it for the first half of this intro. Now, looking down at the second line, we see a variation on that same phrase. So two finger on C sharp again, but instead of playing on beat one, we're gonna play on beat two, and we're gonna rest on beat one. So one, two, three, four, and one. So same idea here, B, A. But then here in the final measure, we have a bit of new material. We're gonna jump down all the way to middle C. But of course, we're not gonna play C, we're gonna play C sharp, right? Two on C sharp, another quick one, three on D sharp and four on E. And that's kind of a weird ending here, but if we were to go into the next section of the song, it would make more sense. This is a pickup into the next section. And one more time that goes one and two and three and four. And, and if we're swinging it, uh, one and two and three and four and. Why don't I cue up our backing track and let's try to play this thing in time. Let's do it at full tempo. A one, two, Set, go. Three and four. And one. Don't forget to swing. Rest and reset. Rest. Two, three, four. And one. Now jump down. Two on a low C sharp. That's it. So now I think we should shift gears over to the left hand. For the most part, we can see we have half note block chords. And here they are. A in the first measure, so there's two of them. And then E over G sharp in the second measure, two of those. And that just repeats, you guys, for a while at least. So measure three and four are the same as measure one and two. And then if we look down, same thing again, you guys, measure five and six. Now, measure seven starts the same way with two A chords, but then we jump down to a single note E, F sharp, and then G natural. Now that's kind of a weird line here. It's the same rhythms as what the right hand did though in its part. One and two and three and four and. So that's what we have to remember here. First thing is to get your hands used to going back and forth between A major and E over G sharp. The next thing to remember is that when you get to the very end, don't play another E major chord. You gotta jump down here play that little riff, okay? All right, let's try it now with our backing track, and again, we'll do this at full speed. One, two, set, go. Now change, and repeat. Same thing with 
morning again. Now A's, now here comes the riff. That's how we do it. Now all that's left is to put the hands together. Let's walk through it now at a slow speed. One, two, set, go. Two, three, and four, and one. Head, right hand reset. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, one. Here comes our riff. Ready? Jump down. And two, and three, and four. And three. Great work, everyone. If you need extra practice with me, just pause, rewind, and play back with me at the slow tempo. But when you're ready, we're going to speed this thing up now and wrap up our lesson on God Only Knows intro. One, two, set. Go. Great work, everyone. That's a wrap. Make sure you practice that several times on your end if you want some good results. And if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Share it with some friends, even if they dig the song and you think they'll want to learn. I'm Phil and I appreciate you guys coming to Playground Sessions channel to learn. I'll see you on the next video lesson. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.